Uh, first off, uh, we need to look at it from a bird's eye view. Um, we are, I think, looking at a, at a great economic transition, considering that Americans, 225 million of them, are spending three and a half trillion dollars annually on health care. Uh, we've talked uh, oil this morning, we've talked electric cars, um, oil industry globally is 2.2 trillion. Even if you add Facebook and Amazon and Google uh, um, and Alibaba's revenue, you don't get to three and a half trillion dollars. And for the first time in history, the trillion dollars that's being wasted in this industry, and everyone has known that for a decade, is up for grabs by the tech companies. And that's mainly due to three things. Um, regulation is changing, valuations are coming from the market, um, and the global conversation on health is changing. What you do is also the equivalent of, say, medical selfie. Right. Uh, you can diagnose after uh, taking a photo and giving that photo to a medical professional. And I think one of the issues when you talk about wastage in medicine has been this traditional delivery mechanism where you trundle along to some usually a uh, traditional brick building, right. go in and ask for some form of help, a uh, diagnosis from the doctor, go away sometimes without the treatment or having to go elsewhere for treatment or come back to get results and then get prescribed some treatment down the track mm -hmm. which tells you about how much wastage all the, the trips you take to the doctor every time you see that doctor someone else trying to come up with an answer behind the scenes and then prescribe I mean surely this process can be shortened to save money that's correct and that's specifically in the American system that has been playing out uh, in recent is in recent weeks I mean if you just rewind the clock six weeks We've had Amazon buying PillPack and sort of shocking uh, the industry, the market uh, um, responding to that with a 10% uh, market, uh, market cap uh, reduction for Walgreens and CVS. We've seen Walgreens climb up for the same reason, basically bringing the clinic uh, closer to people. Healthy.io just won an FDA landmark ruling, uh, allowing for the first time for a smartphone camera to serve as a medical device when compared to a lab device. We're part of that revolution. Other companies in the radiology space, for interest, for, in, uh, for example, in the last six weeks have won FDA approval for algorithms that actually help you decipher um, your x-rays and your CTs, Viz AI, uh, Zebra Medical, AI Doc, by the way, all of them coming from across the block uh, in Israel. Um, we're looking at a situation where technology is starting to empower the medical professionals. We're looking at a situation where nurses can become super nurses, where doctors will have the capacity to better treat patients. and significantly reduce that waste that you're uh, describing. At the same time, the market is also showing great value uh, and trust in companies that do it right. GoodRx, that's a CNBC report from a few weeks ago, was in conversation for a buyout at $3 billion. That's a company that allows Americans to have, um, to actually compare prices of drugs, um, has just won a Silver Lake investment at $3 billion. So. Hey everybody, it's Hadley Gamble from our new CNBC Middle East Bureau in Abu Dhabi. Thanks for stopping by. Now to watch more, you can try one of the videos that just popped up on your screen. And don't forget to subscribe.